What's up YouTube? It's me Evan here with a games collection video. This one is for the PS2. So this is the first console I got. It came with Gran Turismo bundle. I got it from a Sam's Goody. Sam Goody back in the day. Big blocky thing. You can see I still got memory cards in it. Then To save on room, because I had so many consoles, I upgraded to the PlayStation 2 Slim. And this one I modded, so I could play Japanese games. And this one wasn't working too well, so this year at the video games convention, I upgraded to a modded. PS2 Slim. This one has all new disk drive in it and already is region unlocked. It plays all regions since I am a import game collector as well. Um, yeah, so DVD in order to use the use it as a DVD player you needed a remote and a special slot on your memory card and uh I remember when I was mad that the Dreamcast was dying because I was loving the Dreamcast because PS2 just wiped it out of the water with having a DVD player uh, I held out on getting it for so long until I heard my favorite company at the time Capcom was making a game only for PS2 so I had to get a PS2 and that game was Devil May Cry. I couldn't wait to get this. I ended up really enjoying it. Really good game. And then I got Devil May Cry 2. Didn't really enjoy this game. I didn't like it as much. And then we're going we're gonna to stay on the Capcom train. I'm going to show off some more Capcom titles. Onimusha 1. Two and three. I love this game to death. I beat it twice. I loved it so much. It was so much fun. Resident Evil Resident Evil style controls. Onimusha 2 was okay. I didn't like it as much. And Onimusha 3, I didn't like it at all. It was like more open world and less linear. I didn't really like it. Next in the comp. Capcom lineup we got Maximal, which is a kind of like a remake of Ghouls and Ghosts, but in 3D. It was a really fun game. I really enjoyed it. Okami, absolutely hated it. They used some nonsensical language with subtitles. It wasn't a real language, just made it up. Weeble Wobble, kind of like a Star Fox. It was so dumb. I thought the graphics were cool, but I didn't enjoy the gameplay at all. This is a light gun shooter made by Capcom. It was okay. And then rounding out the Capcom collection, we have uh, SNK vs. Capcom 2. Capcom Fighting Evolution, which sucked. Street Fighter X3, which is also a jank game. It was kind of fun to play. This was actually okay version. Normally I don't have a lot of Capcom fighting games for PlayStation 2 because usually the system doesn't run them too good. They're very very jagged graphics and they don't play very well so a lot of my Capcom fighting games I have on Dreamcast, Saturn, and um, the original Xbox which all ran better than PS2 for fighting games. Alright now we're going to move on to more fighting games I have for PS2. And now we got my King of Fighters series. 2003, 2002, 2006. Not sure which year this came out. And then this is a cool one. It has characters from other franchises besides King of Fighters and Art of Fighting. You got Metal Slug characters, Samurai Showdown characters. It kind of cool. And then we got a uh, Guilty Gear X2. 
That was a good game. And Dragon Ball Z Budokai, this game was pretty bad. I didn't like it very much. But Budokai 2, I absolutely loved, but I got it for the Wii. Budokai 3, I also have for the Wii. Now, one of the game series I really love is Super Smash Brothers. And here's some clones. We got Onimusha Blade Warriors. Smash Brothers clone. This is a, I don't know the title, but this is a um, Japanese import. You can see you can play as Ultim um, Optimus Prime. Characters from Bloody Roar. Bomberman. Barbie is also in the game. You can play as Barbie. Bunch of weird fighting bunch of weird fighting game characters together not even from fighting games i mean i think that's a beyblade character it was so goofy and then we got uh a dream matchup here d-o-n dragon ball one piece naruto another smash brothers ripoff well we can see kind of what they look like well, they're all on stages the object is to knock them off the stages and all that platforms and then here we got some of my imports this is a great berserk game this is a rts it goes um along in a series that they continue with the ds 3ds which were great games this is a one piece fighting game it's pretty horrible one piece i mean a uh, kenshin Roni kenshin fighting game pretty pretty bad then some nose bleeder bikini girls jiggling around game And then on to my Rockstar games. Got Grand Theft Auto 3, which was a lot of fun. Vice City was pretty good. Max Payne, which I loved with the bullet time. It was a really good game. Now on to JRPGs, which is another genre I love. Thanks to stupid old Pokemon on Nintendo Game Boy and all the RPGs I played on Dreamcast. I fell in love with the genre, so PS2 I continued it. Final Fantasy X, absolutely loved it. Didn't love the main character, but uh, I love Sir Orn and the girl who called the summons and all that. Of course, Lulu. Great game. This game, I played it for a tiny bit. Didn't Wasn't really into it. This game, hated the characters, hated the story, but loved the gameplay. I mean, they switched up the gameplay. It was so much fun. They had a hunting league you'd, turn, you'd uh, be a member of, and you'd go around hunting monsters and get bounties, and I became obsessed. I played it for over 100 hours. One of my favorites. And then we got Kingdom Hearts. I love Kingdom Hearts. One to death. Beat it twice. Kingdom Hearts 2, I wasn't a fan of. Also, Kingdom Hearts 3, I didn't like too much. I mean... They just kept straying away from the crossover. The first one was so good because it was Final Fantasy characters crossed over with Disney characters. But then as the series went on, they just strayed away from that and just stuck with their own characters for that series. Some more JRPGs. Grandia 3, I liked it. Grandia Extreme was good too. Not as good as Part 2. Grandia 2 is still my favorite. Inuasha, that was a good fun RPG. Wild Arms 3. Couldn't get into it. Star Ocean, I really could not get into it. Next the genre I love is uh, arcade golfing. I love it thanks to Mario Golf on the N64 and Game Boy Color. and I've got every Mario Golf since then. and found out it was made by this same company that made Hot Shots, I think, so... Easy transition over to Hot Shots Golf. We'll absolutely love everyone in the series. This is a very cool game series. We get these buzz controllers. You get to buzz in and play up to eight people at once. You plug them into the USB drive on your, on your PlayStation. And you get the buzz in. And uh, each color corresponds to the answer of, of trivia questions. It's a lot of fun. Next up is some wrestling games was a huge fan of wrestling on the N64. So I thought that would transfer over to PS2. It did not. These games are pretty horrible compared to those. Fool me once and twice. I finally learned my lesson. Next is some racing type titles. Grand Turismo 3 came with the system. So 
played it, didn't like it. We bought Fusion, this was fun. Downhill Domination was fun. Stuntman was okay. Next up is some Sony titles. Shadow of the Colossus, I loved to death. It was an amazing game. God of War, cool on paper, was cool at first. Puzzle, then hack and slash, then puzzle, then hack and slash. It got repetitive. I just stopped playing it. It was so repetitive. Ico, that was an okay game. Basically just an escort mission. Sly Cooper, I absolutely love to death. It's one of my all-time favorite games. I think it's absolute perfection. I beat it uh, so much that I got the Japanese intro. Sly Cooper 2 became a little more open world. I'm not really a fan. Sly Cooper 3 was totally open world. Too many options. Didn't like it. I like games that take skill and you have to do it over and over and over again until you get it right and there's only one way out of a situation. So that's why I like part one the best. Next up is a game series I absolutely love the death of Way of the Samurai. You play as a samurai at the end of the samurai's era and you just go around. It's kind of like Grand Theft Auto, but set in samurai times. Or maybe like Red Dead, but samurai times. You play as a samurai. Amazing story, amazing graphics. Decent fighting game mechanics. Yeah, these are absolutely great games. Love them to death. This Contra game, Shattered Soldiers, was a very, very good game too. I had a lot of fun playing it. Klonoa 2 was a lot of fun. It's like a uh, 2D with 3D graphics side-scrolling game. and It was so much fun. Platforming, very good. Next up is the eye toy. This was a lot of fun. You, just, you hook up a camera and you're on the screen playing the video games and you interact with the environment and you are, your body is the controller. So this was so much fun. The game that came with it had a bunch of mini games. Hours and hours and hours of enjoyment of this game. There go some action games that uh, Shinobi was really good. Gungrave. I got it because the same artist that did Trigun created all the characters and I love his art, love Trigun and it's ridiculous shooting anime craziness. It was a decent game. I didn't love it, but the anime that they made based off the game was a ten out of ten to me. Now this game, Lupin the Third, Treasure of the Sorcerer King, man. I love the Lupin anime movies. I have the whole collection. He's a great character. He's a thief. This is the reason why I love Sly Cooper so much. Sly Cooper came out before this. And I was like, damn, it's like playing Lupin the Third game. But you're a, a raccoon or whatever. And then this game came out. I mean, my heart melted. This was so much fun. You had to go around and do different heists. And the puzzles were... I mean, you have to have a brain to get through these puzzles. That's why I loved it. I was able to beat the whole thing. I was proud of myself. This is my collection of very weird, abstract, off-the-wall thinking Japanese video games. I mean, the Japanese game developers, they got crazy ideas. This is one stretch panic where you got to stretch the characters to defeat them. This one you play as a mosquito. You gotta bite a woman in the bathtub and all that. Guitar Man is also very, very weird. I love it though. And the weirdest of them all, Katamari Demasi. I hope now the song is stuck in your head for the rest of your life. All great games. Probably my favorite shooter of all time, Time Crisis 2. I love this game to death. I played it so much in arcade, I beat it. I entered a tournament in my local Aladdin's Castle. I came in third because the pedal got stuck on the barrel part. I got hit up by the barrels. I mean, I, I've made that part a million times. It still haunts me to this day. Um, but yeah, I had to get it for PS2. It's a good version. Comes with the game. There goes the gun controller. No recoil action or nothing like that, but still serves its purpose. I never played Time Crisis 1 in my life, but Time Crisis 2, I love to death.
Now on to a game series genre that is near and dear to my heart. Second only to fighting games. Fighting games is my favorite. Second is rhythm games. Started with Frequency. Actually started with Britney Spears. Some kind of Britney Spears video game. That was on a demo disc that I got. And uh, I got addicted to that. Even though I don't really like Britney Spears. Never heard any of the songs in my life that were on there. But I enjoyed the rhythm aspect of it. The timing of the buttons. And then it also had a um, demo disc for Frequency eventually. And I had to get that game. I never bought the Britney Spears game. But I did get Frequency. And the same studio that made that made Amplitude. Which was a billion times better. I love them both to death. And then that same company made Guitar Hero. Now at the time when Guitar Hero was announced. I was in the arcades playing Beat Mania. It was a drum game. And I was obsessed with that. I think it was made by Konami. I was really, really good at it. I could play an expert and all that. So then when Guitar Hero came out, man, there was a learning curve. I also got that first on a demo disc. Or no, Guitar Hero 2 was on a demo disc. But Guitar Hero 1, loved it, beat it on Expert. Guitar Hero 2 also much improved, beat that on Expert. Beat this one on Expert. And then Guitar Hero 3 was made by a different developer. And it was horrendous. The sound quality of music was horrible. I used to play with, you know, speakers. I would hook a stereo up to my TV and game console and play like that. And the other games sounded incredible. This game sounded like crap. The buttons they had you push didn't really align with the music at all. It was like they just put them there to try and throw you off. And it was not a good game. Very bad. Then here's some other rhythm games. DDR. I got came with a pad that moved around the carpet. It wasn't a lot of fun. Um Mad Maestro was a great game. Beat Mania. It was okay. I got the controller right here. So it was like a DJ stand. It was alright. It wasn't that that fun. And then Taiko Drum Master, now this was amazing. I love this game to death. Got the Taiko Drum and the sticks. And then I got a Japanese version so I could get some Japanese songs. And now this did get released on Switch now. So I'm going to have to get into that. I mean, I love it to death. Next up is singing games. These are karaoke-like games where they, they grade you. I'm a horrible singer, but I can do pretty well in these games because... You know how to cheat the system if you know how the scoring works. Um, and then this is one. I couldn't find the real case, but got it at GameStop used. This is a Disney one with Disney music. My wife is a Disney fanatic and sings just like the freaking princesses. So she's really, really good at that. She also plays rock band with me. Okay, another game series that I love. and This is the last of the games for PS2. Zone of Enders, holy cow. I'm not a mech person, I don't really into mech anime or mech stuff, but you play as a giant mech and you fly around and the way you do them, the missiles come out is absolutely incredible. And then the second one, they went way heavy into anime. They even had sequences and everything. I mean, cutscenes. Great games. So this is my games collection. Now I'm going to show you some of the controllers. So this is a DualShock 2 controller, one of the worst controllers ever made on Grand's Green Earth. They're not really comfortable, they're very cheap, they break super easily. One time I lightly bumped one with my foot when it was on the ground, it never worked again. I mean, horrible controller design, hate it to death. Now being a huge fighting game fan that I am, the greatest controller ever made was the Sega Saturn controller. So anytime anything was released, close to Sega Saturn, I had to get it. So this is a Sega Saturn design, very cheaply made by Mad Cats, I think, based off the Udon comic art. Um, I also have a huge arcade stick collection, which I'll show in a separate video. This is the Akuma one, my favorite Street Fighter character. Powering up like a Super Saiyan. Comes with some kind of certificate or something. And then here is the Guitar Hero 2 controller. My original Guitar Hero 1 controller. I 
wore out the buttons. I played it so much. Like I said, I beat it on an expert and would play it just for fun constantly. So the Guitar Hero 2 was much improved over the first one. Here's a secret. Back in the day, you didn't used to play online. You used to actually go to people's houses or they come over to your house and you'd play on the couch next to them. So I don't keep my games in any of the cases. So every game is empty. I keep them in this binder along with the memory cards so you can take them over to other people's houses. So you can see what the discs look like. Some games are two discs, they are too big to fit on a DVD memory. Japanese game discs look really cool. That's it. Thanks for watching. I'll be back with another games collection eventually.